The Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center is collaborating with other stakeholders to mobilize support for the presidency on its efforts in protecting civilians in armed conflict areas in Nigeria. This was disclosed at an event by Multi-Stakeholders Consultative Forum in Abuja. Maria Mohamed reports. It has been faced with a lot of security challenges in recent times, especially in the northeast part of the country. But security forces continue to confront armed non-state actors in this conflict. Local civilians are always caught in the middle of the violence which ensues. Hence the report by United Nations shows that 2.1 million people have been displaced, while 8.7 million people depend entirely on humanitarian aid to survive. This is why these advocacy groups are calling on the federal government to implement a policy to protect civilians who are not taking part in conflicts. At this forum, leaders of these advocacy groups and other stakeholders plan to gather more support at the Federal Executive Council so other ministries can key into this initiative when it's presented to the president. There is also an urgent need to show citizens that the government is committed to protecting civilians who are bear the brunt of conflicts. Work that would provide opportunities for communities to continue to engage with security forces to better protect themselves. And of course for the Nigerian military and other security agencies, it would be an opportunity to better understand communities while they try to also achieve their military objectives. Nobody would say that he or she is not aware that, that every Nigerian is tense looking at where we're driving at. We hope that the situation will change and that's why filmmakers are very very crucial uh, partners in this because they are the ones to educate the people on practices and behavior social behavior um, that needs to change you I think the question of uh, uh, everybody should come and you know protect himself it is not really um, a statement that you know uh, we should actually continue to promote I know some of them they say it out of frustration because they too they are frustrated they wanted to see that at least the country is secured and safe and those who are in the authority to do that maybe perhaps they need to do more in order to ensure that they provide safety and security for everybody in Nigeria. These advocacy groups and stakeholders are optimistic that this policy will be implemented so Nigerians can be fully protected. Maria Mohamed, TVC News, Abuja.